Hello friends, welcome to Amazon Security Webcast and in this video demonstration we are going to see how to configure DFS replication group in Windows Server 2012 DFS used to organize distributed uh, SMP file share into DFS server. DFS is used to replicate files and folders on multiple servers. So in this video we will talk about the creation of replication group. In replication groups we create a share folder on computer 1 and another share folder on computer 2. DFS would help in replicate data between both servers. Please ensure that DFS is installed on all the members on which you want data to be replicated. So for this demonstration I have a two domain controller and this is our first domain controller that is our uh, SRTF and DC01 on, on that server. If we check the installed roles and roles and features and mm, here under file and SCSI service we have a DFS namespace and we have a DFS replication both roles are installed and same on our uh, second server that is our uh, SRTF and DC02 and if we check uh, install server roles on the server with x1 file and SCSI services as you are seeing DFS namespace and DFS replication both roles are installed so let's come back over uh, DFS management. In uh, previous videos, we just create a namespace, and that is a public DFS namespace, and we create a one uh, share folder. Uh, we add a one share folder under our uh, DFS namespace. So in this video demonstration, we are going to create a new replication group. So let's create a new replication group. So to do that, just right click on a replication, select new replication group. In a replication group type, we have to select the type of replication group. Uh, select multi-purpose replication group. This option help us to configure a replication between two or more server for content sharing. However, replication group for uh, data collection is used to replicate data between hub and uh, branch server. So this option is used to collect the data at the hub server. For this demonstration, we will select multi-purpose replication group and click on next in a name and domain console enter the name of replication group and uh, for this demo i'm going to specify the name my lab local group and our domain is my lab local click on next in replication group members click on uh, add and uh, browse the name of your server and for this demonstration we're going to select srtf and dc01 and srtf and dc02 Click on OK. So add all servers between which you want to uh, replicate the data. Data can be replicated between two or more servers. So for this practical, uh, we will replicate the data between two computers, our DC01 and DC02. OK. Click on Next. In the topology selection, we have to select the topology of connection between members of a replication group and uh, full mesh prevent the suggestion of single point of uh, failures. Each member would replicate data with other members of replication group. So we select full mass and then click on next. In a replication group schedule and uh, bandwidth windows, select the replicate continuously using the replicate specified bandwidth. It is used to instant replicate the data between uh, servers. Select the replicate during the specified days and times if you don't want to replicate to occur the instantly or if you want to schedule the replication. So here is the options and for this demonstration we will select this box and then click on next in a primary member console select the server which you want to designate as the primary member and primary member will push data to all other partners so for this demonstration i'm going to select srtf and dc01 as a primary member in the console we would select a folder on the primary member that we want to replicate to other member of the replication group click on add and browse the dfs share that you want to replicate and uh, so click on browse and next one if row let's make a new folder and let's give name triple one okay select a type of name to represent this folder and all members the replication group the name is known as a uh, as the replicate folder name this is okay go on next and this will be the local path for for Apple one on other member and it's not set so click on edit so in this console, click on edit to select the enabled option, then click on uh, browse. And here, let's again uh, create a new folder. And let's give a name repl2. Okay, so 
Keep the following code synchronized with the other member and it's a C slash wrapper tool on our SRTFN DC super tool. So here's the another options make the selected uh, replicated folder on uh, this member read only. So you are not going to select it. Click on OK. Click on Next. In a review settings and create replication to Windows, review all the selected settings in case if you want to change anything. Click on previous button as click on continue to create a new replication group. In the confirmation windows, replication group is created successfully. Click on close to close the console. Here we can uh, verify that our new replication group is uh, created and uh, initial replication will take a few minutes and hours to replicate the depending on the link data and connection between this two computers. So once the initial uh, replication is completed successfully, so let's uh, create a file or folder in the of the member of replication group and uh, let's check if it is replicating data with other members or not. So let's create on a E drive. Sorry, on a F drive, we create a folder and inside I'm going to create a new folder name uh, data one and as well as I'm going to create a new file. Let's give name sample file close and save this. So this is the data which we store on our uh, primary member server and uh, inside the repo one folder. So initial replication will take some time to complete. Okay, let's hope the replication is completed and uh, let's move to our uh, second server that is uh, SRDF and DC02 and if you check on that on the C drive that is our folder happy 2 and as you are seeing we have this folder data 1 and sample file. Let's edit this file. Okay, let's set the data and click on close. Let's save this and uh, let's see the changes on our server. Now, after all, wrap it one and something like that. And as you are seeing, we have this line which we add on our SRDC02. Now, as you are seeing, the application is uh, working instantly. So, that's it for this demonstration. Thanks for watching this video.